Mr. Legend, how are you, first of all? Doing great. How are you? Doing pretty good, man. Thanks for asking. So this film, you know, it feels like it, it humanized the Obamas in a way that, that was very important for the world to see. Yeah. And given the fact that you're actually friends with them, how important was it for you to, to see this story come to life? Oh, I love this story because we know how they ended up. We knew, we know they became the most powerful couple in the world. They're yep. so charming and charismatic and cool. Everybody looks up to them. Everybody aspires to be someone like them. Uh, and have a relationship like what it appears they have right. and um, for us to know how it ended up is great but to see the beginning is so beautiful and, and you see them feeling each other out her yeah. being a little skeptical at first right. him having designs on her but her being like you know let's keep this professional at the beginning yeah. but you also see the the seeds of the character that we see now in public um, in their interactions uh, at that time absolutely we see who they were as people back then and i think it's pretty beautiful to watch absolutely it was it's really 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 well done i think yeah. everybody should go out and see it um a little bit about you you know you always mm -hmm. uh, attach yourself to projects that i feel like uh, will resonate within our community mm -hmm. so for this particular project i mean why was it important for you to use your platform mm -hmm. um to speak about something that you feel like the world should know about well i think this isn't a political film. It's a love story. Uh, the people ended up being political in, in the future, but yeah. really all this is about is a connection between two really intelligent, charming, impressive people that we all know and love. And I think it'll make you believe in love. I think it'll make the world a more beautiful place. If people see this, I think it'll inspire them. Yeah. And our company, Get Lifted Film Company, we try to get behind projects that some of them are historical and, and will teach you. Yeah. Some of them are there to inspire you and make you feel good and entertain you. Absolutely. And I think this film, even though it's kind of got political characters, it's really just a, a sweet, beautiful, inspiring date movie. Absolutely, it's a love story, essentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, seeing that, that love story you know, take place on film, I mean, how important is it for you to feel like, uh, for, for youth to see just this black love, this genuine mm -hmm. black love on screen? Well, I love what they represent because They've shown so much honesty and integrity since they've been in the office, true leadership, true examples of who we would want our kids to be right. and who we want to be. And um, knowing that they combined forces, two individually impressive people, two people who have Ivy League law degrees and were impressive and on their own, found each other and came together. And I think it's beautiful to watch. Absolutely. You know, I don't want to get too political, but mm -hmm. this is a, is a movie about the, the two most powerful people mm -hmm. living in the White House right mm -hmm. now. In 2008, there was a great sense of pride mm -hmm. in this country. You know, eight years later, what are your thoughts about the future of our country? Well, I think, first of all, this film comes at a perfect time because everybody's feeling a bit nostalgic about um, what a powerful and wonderful couple we've had in the White House for for almost eight years now. Yeah. Uh, we see who they are. We've seen how uh, not just politically successful they've been, but personally they've been great examples of, of the kind of people we want to be and who our kids would want to be. Um, and then it kind of makes you appreciate them even more as you watch Donald Trump be the exact antithesis of what we would want our kids to be. Mm -hmm. um, no one aspires to have their kids be as divisive and misogynist and racist and narcissistic and inconsiderate and selfish and to lie as much as he lies in public. All these things are characteristics we would never want our kids to be. And it makes us appreciate even more how aspirational and cool and intelligent and and full of integrity the the Obamas have been over the past eight years. Absolutely. Well, again, I appreciate your work, and I think it, um, we're going to look forward to a lot more of your of your just great projects in the future. So thank, thank you, you again. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Take care.